Marla Schulman here from Mingo Media TV's Red Carpet Report. I'm here for the Ace Eddie Awards, honoring one of film and television's most unsung heroes, the editor. Did you know when you got that script it would be this popular and such a phenomenon? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, uh, my agent called and said, you know, there's this kind of quirky silent film. And I was like, silent? Okay. And, um, you know, I'm always up for something something different and interesting, obviously. So uh, when it came along, it just seemed like it was, and it was a lot of fun to shoot in black and white, silent. Only the French could get away with something like that. Uh, but then uh, my friend Christine and I went to uh, Cannes because we were like, it's Cannes, let's go, because we can, sorry. Um, and then there was this 20 minute standing ovation and we saw it, you know, with all, of, and, and we saw it in a, an audience filled, filled with not just Americans. So a lot of people speaking a lot of different languages and that's kind of the power of this film is it's trans, transcendent and, and you can, anybody can, it's a universal film. And I think just seeing the power of that and seeing how, what it does to people, it was totally a surprise and one I was really excited to be a part of. So as an actor, did you have to do anything different to be in a silent film? Did you, te you know, move your technique one way or the other? Well, um, I definitely didn't have to learn any lines, which was pretty great. Uh, except for one of my favorite moments is I was so excited because I'm in this silent film, and I thought, oh, I'm, I'm not going to have to learn. And so you can be more present. And then at one point, uh, the director said, Missy, we're going to do, Michelle has an ability, we're going to do this, uh, the Romeo and Juliet monologue, so can you do that? And I was like, here I am in this silent movie. And I have not learned any lines, and he wants me to pull out Shakespeare. So I had to Google, you know, Romeo and Juliet, you know, the balcony scene, and learn that during my lunch. Because, you know, you can see, people can read uh, lips. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's very similar acting. Other than when I was in the film, within the film, when I was playing a bad actress, I was kind of doing a little of that. Michelle was like, that maybe is too much. Well, thank you so much, and good luck with the artist. Congratulations. Thank you.